Hey guys, this is Amek continuing on into Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Oops. There we go. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Whatever. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano, well, maybe not determination, I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. <laughs> Anaka, do you... Do they really... Oh man, I'm having... <clears throat> brain dead. Uh, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, okay, man. You saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. <laughs> also, the joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, I figured. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Eh? <laughs> Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah, ah. Eh, 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 sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Oh, is she gonna get weird now? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Oops. Why wouldn't it be? I think she's weird because I think uh, we told her we liked Yuri or whatever. It just feels like you're a little off. Or no, we told her we would walk home with Yuri if she asked. It just feels like you're a little off. Uh, sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. <laughs> I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worried to glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe you should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hey, Mac, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe we're reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Hmm, downcast. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Amek. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. So I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. I like this music. Eh? Are you sure about that? <clears throat> She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Amek. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has ever been. 
Eh <clears throat> You're so funny, Amy. Have you thought of that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Ooh. I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah. Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh on me, weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one mis- uh, I'm the one behaving out of ordinary. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? <laughs> I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. Honda? So I have no choice but to approach herself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. <laughs> Relax, you didn't even do anything. <laughs> but I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell what I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not, not that I was staring or anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Oh, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit to it. it admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. That's quite romantic. Eh? So, sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Amen. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight, and there are often mid and there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. She may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior too. Today too. I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. <laughs> she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Bears to avert my gaze. Sometimes. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That, that is. I think that. She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri. <laughs> You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh -uh. That's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. <clears throat> oh, my throat's all flumpity dump. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the classroom, club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? Why did I just lose... It's like stuttery. Why is my webcam doing that? 
anime robot. That'd be funny if it's recording normal, but just showing me it weird. Because then it just, I look like I'm losing my mind. Anime robot. 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 <laughs> okay, Yuri. Weird. Okay, there it goes. Fixed. Hey, Mac. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing sort of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come to me naturally. Come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It is that so. Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. <coughs> well, I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, you smile sadly. I make during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I'm not a creep like you. Um, it's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. Oh, man. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But... Books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with, or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? <laughs> That's really sad. And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like I know it all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, hey, Mick. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. <laughs> I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I... All... <laughs> and all I could do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understand what was missing on this time. But I haven't really done anything. <laughs> no, that's what's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Amek. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like everyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. <laughs> and if other, people do <laughs> if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I'd make friends, and I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, you put it that way. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> friends are only easier. We really are friends now, aren't we? Here he puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. You want to show me your poem? Yeah. I do. Let me get it for you. Oh god. Oh, it's stuttery. Okay. Ghost Under the Light Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing... Yeah, bathing in the distance a blue-green light flickers. Um, a lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering across his outstretched arm. The flickering light is, a ri is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for the succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? <laughs> ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri's having an even harder time than speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. Not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. <laughs> Hope you keep spending time together. 
Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can. Um, the poem is. Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I could keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. That Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, okay. Hi, Mick. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. <clears throat> but whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see... Uh -huh. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm handing... Well, I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Amic. Here he's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time he's spent with her. <laughs> I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Eh? That's... Uh -huh. It's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in the club room every day, reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel... I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? Alright, alright. <laughs> I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright. The lady who knows everything. Why is this stuttering so much? Alright, I'm going to call that a part there, actually. Just so I can make sure everything's recording right. Because actually, I see it now. I'm getting five frames for some reason. <laughs> Uh, so I will see you guys in the next one.